Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anna520, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we scaled the entirety of the Temple of Time slash Temple of Light, and found our way to the top where we defeated a Dark Nut and claimed the Dominion Rod, which allows us to bring life to statues, certain statues, and make them move around and do things. We also found the statue that guard, uh, the other statue that guards the door to the boss room, which is right here. Hello. And using it, we can smash that gate open. Come down here, come over here, and just get rid of you. Get rid of you. We're gonna put that guy to bed real quick. Grab these two rupees. And what are we gonna do here? Climb back up here. Grab one of these little guys. And bring it down here. And put it on this thing. Boop. Then we just need to pilot you onto this platform. And then remove this. And now we can walk you down the stairs. Off we go. Now sometimes you'll find yourself needing to recall the light to reposition yourself so that we can get our statue friend on the lightning here. Walk through. And then get rid of this crap. I don't know if I can break this. Cannot break that. But we'll just keep continuing to carry our friend down the stairs. You can also break these things. I think I got them all. Bust that open. And that's gonna reveal a switch. Now, in order to get the button pressed and him up on the platform, we're going to need one of these guys. Well, as it turns out, these guys are also valid targets. And we can just walk this little dude down here and onto the platform. I said onto the platform. There we go. Now then. you under the bell. Gong. And now we can leave this section. Out of here, and our friend is right there next to us. However, we need to get him across the scale. How in the heck are we going to do that? Well, as it happens, we need to put these things up here. If I can. There we go. There's a whole bunch more of them scattered around this room. Like that one right there. Just get onto this real quick. Drop down here. Give you a chuck. I don't know if I should bother with these guys. Maybe I should. Nope. How dare you touch me? There we 
we go. Alright, so all those are gone now. We've got our friend here. Let's grab him real quick. Carry you over here. There's a whole bunch of them on the wall there. Let me just grab this. Throw it there. Still can't reach that. I need to balance this. I need to get up here first. Are there guys on this side? Nope. That's fine. Okay, where is... You're there. Okay. Let's just grab you real quick. Pull you off there. And bring you down here. Onto this platform. Now, we need to throw these up here so that we can balance the scale. Check you up there. Check you up there. Scale still isn't balanced. This big statue is really heavy. Can I get up on top of this? I can't. Okay, now it's up there. So, can I hit you from here? I can. Alright, you come down here. Get up there. I just need to move you over here. Chuck this up here. Chuck this up here. And chuck this up here. Should be... Nope, not yet. Alright, now let's call one of these guys down. Bring you over here. Up we go. So, one statue is equal in weight to four small ones. Which means... I could, theoretically, pull this guy down. Or pull this guy. Off the, off the platform here. There we go. But before we leave, I have to go deal with... Nope, not that. I have to go deal with something else first. So we've got this broken spinner track here. Let's go around this way. Get off there. You know, thinking about it, maybe I should... Yeah, let's let's go put this guy in the hole first. That way I don't have to worry about him despawning or something. I don't think he does, considering that if you look at the map, there's a marker for where he's at, so you never have to lose track of him. Or you never lose track of him. But still, let's put you underneath the bell. Gong. All right. Now, now we can get back up there and do the Poe thing. And there's also a secondary room. Senses. Hello. Got 
Gotcha. Alrighty. That's one of two. Let's come in here. And deal with some shenanigans. So there's two chests in here. First things first, let's get rid of these guys. You little stinker. We just gotta deal with this guy. Oh, we have to come in here. This is where the boss key is. Or big key. There we go. Now. How do we get the big key? Well, let's go up top. See if we can't figure it out up here. Ah! Red rupee. And then we have this statue. Don't mind the vibrating wall. Vibrating camera, what the heck? I don't know why the camera keeps doing that. Alright, then we get this statue. But we've got two more switches that we can't press. Well, that's where the helm sores come in. The Helmosaurs actually provide us with something heavy enough to put on the switches. There we go. Just put that there. Bruh. What the heck? It moved. Come here. There's no way that shouldn't have worked. There we go. Now, let's grab our big key. Out of this chest that seems to be made out of wrought iron. There we go. And then before we leave, let's now make sure we don't forget to grab our other stamp. It should be in this chest here. Yes, indeed. This room is a reset. Alright, come down the stairs. Statues in this room. Just down here. So, I think we can throw the ball through the wall. Yes, we can. And we can do one of these. Over here and around. Come on. Get through there. I know you can. There we go. Okay, that's broken. So is that. And then we just... Pilot you onto that switch, which will shut off the electricity. And we can come in here and grab a piece of heart. Well, let's make sure we're not missing anything on the upper floors. Stop that. All right, we're good so far. Just push this over here real quick. Come on, the ramp. Down the stairs. And the gate's locked. Now it isn't. Let's get rid of you. I'm gonna 
before we take you out, break that, and come over here and smash the owl. I think I just smacked myself in the top of the head. <laughs> Don't mind me just getting pushed out of the way. There we go. Carry on. Which I don't think does anything anymore. <laughs> right, there we go. There's our statue. At the top of the room. So we're just gonna pull this. buddy. Bring him over here. Pull this. Pull it again. Hope I didn't need anything up there. I don't think I did. Oh, these guys are back. Let me check my map real quick. Go up the floor. Yeah, I didn't need anything. Alright. Let's do some pest control. guys with the hammer guy. There we go. All gone. And now we can bring the statue over here. And smash open this gate. Wolf. You're really supposed to push the, uh, put one of those statues on the, uh, switch there. But if you have the big one, which you'll eventually lose, you can just smash it. Much easier. Alright. Now let's take our statue for a walk. Bring him over here, destroy this real quick. Because I can. Oh! Hi. Alrighty. Break that open. Put you under the bell. Gone. Hearts back. Come in here. There's our statue. No. I don't think we're going to need the spinner anymore, so we'll just put that away. Flip over here. Excuse me. There we go. Just real quick, get rid of you. Don't need anything else in here. I don't think, anyway. Let's see here. Nope. Don't think so. Closer. Come down here. Smash that gate. 
Smash that spider. Smash that gate, because I feel like it. And then we come over here and put him under there. Um, oh, I need to make sure I'm not missing anything. Isn't there a room that I... Yeah... Uh, well, I forgot a room. I gotta go back. I knew I was forget. I knew I needed to get to this. R I forgot the ship. Where are you? All right, give me these little statues. Should have smashed this gate open so I didn't have to come back. Go. Now we need to come back up in here. This is a very important thing to do, by the way. That went back up. Which is crap. It means I have to go back up. And it also means I gotta pull out my spinner again. Okay, it's this door over there. Oh. Fun! Dumb! Dumb, dumb, dumb. What have you done? Pardon me while I'm an idiot. Good job. Let's get into those stupid spider things are over there again. Alright, let's walk this over here. Put this on the button. Grab this. Put that on the other button. There we go. Alright, now we're in here. The room full of garbage. Get out of here. All of you. As you can see, there are things we need to do. Walk this little statue down here, onto this button, and grab one of these. Shuck it up there. And bring this one down as well. Put it on the other button. And we 
with both buttons pressed, this chest will appear. Finally. Alright. This should be another piece of heart. Yes, it is. Good. Now then. Let's go reunite with our statue friend. It looks like these doors are supposed to, like, open out. But they don't. See how there's, like, a hinge on the side? I guess I just didn't want to, like, program an extra animation for these specific doors. Oh. Oh, wait, no, this is fine. I can just... over top. I think I was meant to break all of these. So that's why it's easier to get out, unless this is also... yeah, that's back. Well, that's fine, because that one was already there. It's fine. I guess. Anyway, we're back in the entry hall now. We've got a boss to fight. As soon as we bring you home. Now we can enter this room. Make sure you're not missing any chests. We're good. Open the door. I don't like this room. This room is evil. Get rid of that. I don't have to worry about that. Head up. Unfortunately, whoa, hi, I see you there. Hey! Your lines are lying. Give me this. Okay, there's that. Cross. Control you into the hole. There we go. But unfortunately, I don't think we have enough time to do. Oops. Hello, fairy. I have all my bottles. This one is empty. Hmm. We're also missing one item. What is that item? I don't rightfully know what that item is. Guess I'll have to figure it out. Um, yeah, we don't have enough time to fight the boss. So I guess next time in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we will go and fight the boss of the Temple of Time. Till then, this is Anna520, signing out.